NATO's apologised what it says were nine deaths, saying it thought insurgents who'd fired on its soldiers and killed a Marine were the only occupants of the compound that was hit. Lieutenant Colonel Mark Wenham speaks for the NATO-led International Security Assistance Force, or ISAF, in Kabul. I do want to offer my sincere apologies for the nine civilians who were killed during the incident in Nazad. The soldiers were on patrol. They came under fire. During the course of that firefight, a Marine was injured and he subsequently died in the incident. The five insurgents that the patrol found themselves up against continued the attack from a compound and as a result of that, an airstrike was called to neutralise that particular threat and unfortunately we now know that the compound the insurgents occupied did in fact house innocent civilians as well. There's some dispute then over the figures because you're saying nine civilians died. Local people have suggested that it was 14, uh, two adults and, and 12 children. Well, all I can speak to is the facts that we have at the moment. The assessment that we're doing at the moment is not yet complete. And so I don't want to prejudge what may or may not come out of that. I can only tell you what we know from our assessment so far. I think it's worth reiterating, on incidents like this, it's extremely difficult to get to the facts. And that is why we always will send an assessment team to the site as soon as we hear that there are allegations of this type. The Afghan president has said he's issuing what he describes as a last warning to ISAF to take more care and to try and prevent these kinds of incidents. Do you accept that they are causing a great deal of anger and potentially are counterproductive for your operation? Of course, any loss of civilian life is detrimental to what we're trying to do and to all the efforts to secure the population of Afghanistan, and I fully accept that. I would highlight that the number of civilian casualties caused by the coalition is coming down and continues to come down. The trend is a downward trend. So, yes, an enormous amount of work goes on here to ensure that those casualties are kept to the absolute minimum. It has been said that it's a, a conscious tactic sometimes by insurgents after an attack to pull back into a civilian area. Is it a calculation that you make that you would rather let insurgents go than risk civilian lives, or is that something you just can't afford to do in your judgment? We will never knowingly risk a civilian life. You're right. What we are seeing is the insurgents increasingly reach for more and more desperate measures as our successes of the last few months are becoming apparent. And you're starting to see the sort of tactics that they themselves have said they would never do. Yesterday, we found an ambulance that was laced with explosives, fully rigged, ready to be driven to anywhere to cause an attack. So that's... We will never knowingly risk a civilian life. We will never knowingly risk a civilian life. We will never knowingly risk a civilian life. We will never knowingly risk a civilian life.